So I got a request from a customer. He wanted to get a gift for his friend, and he wanted it to have a flame effect because his friend works a lot with fire, and so I was happy to oblige with that one. I made a graffiti blank. It looks a lot like the uh, American graffiti blanks I have with the red, white, and blue where you uh, cast it and clear, you pour down from the top, and all the color drops down through the blank. This one didn't quite drop through all the way, but got penetration all the way through on this blank. You can see I've got red, orange, and yellow swirling and dropping down through the top. This was the top up here, and then it dropped down, hit the bottom, and then it starts to churn and turn back upward. So this is going to be a neat blank, really excited for it. This side here looks really, really cool. If I can get that to focus on it. Let me see. Need it with a little, little alcohol here. Check that out. Really a cool effect that that's got. You see actually through it, because of that clear, it actually goes through the blank and you can actually see the tube. So I had painted the tube black on this one. I did make a second one and I painted the tube on this one red. Um, so you can actually see the, the tube right in through there. And so that one I, I painted a, a crimson color. Um, just kind of see which uh, I thought would look better, but I really like the black. I think that's gonna give a really good contrast to the flame colors that we've got going here. So without further ado, let's get this turned up. bushings and then we'll call this done. Yeah, that looks so cool. All right, I'm going to get this all polished up. I'll see you back in a minute. Guys, check this out. This looks amazing this is better than all of my expectations of it and if my camera could focus on it, it doesn't even know what to do with it just look at how that swirled together looks like rolling flames going through there that looks amazing here it is from the other angle beautiful blank oh my gosh i'm so excited for this one all right, I gotta decide which end do I want to go up. There's a lot more yellow up here. I'm gonna put the yellow to the post. That way it's kind of up toward the top. Let's get this put together, this is awesome. First, I need to put in my assembly cups into my lathe here. There we go. Okay. Whew. I'm so excited. All right. I can't even contain myself here. I was so nervous about, about this thing. The blank itself did not do exactly what I wanted it to. The uh, I wanted the pigment to kind of drop, but not like too fast. And when I poured it, all of the color dropped straight to the bottom. Just sank. I was like, oh, crud. And uh, that's not the, the anticipated reaction that I've gotten on previous blanks. And when I've done that, I've kind of chucked the blanks and recast. 
and I just kind of decided, you know, once I pulled it out and I could see there was clear that goes all the way into the middle, that's what that black section is. That's the clear going into the middle. I just decided, you know what, we're going to try and turn this, paint the inside black, and just go with it. And I'm so glad that I did because it looks amazing. Okay, we're doing this one with a Frixion pen. They uh, use a special type of a notebook that like syncs up with their phone or something. And uh, I don't know exactly how it works. If you know how it would work, leave a comment section down below because uh, I don't know exactly what it is. It's like a rocket book or rocket notebook. So I forget what it is, but I guess it has to use a Frixion ink in order for it to all work and sync up. So we've got a Frixion ink conversion on this one not a g2 it's a Frixion and uh so here's our Frixion ink there's our spring which is stuck to my magnet give me that drop that in there go cut our magnet or <laughs> we'll cut our spring down let's cut that right in half here I'll find that other piece later. Oh, it's right there. Ha! Stuck to my magnet. Eh, it's not quite half. Let's take another snip of that. And bend that flat. Oh, that one fell on the floor. Keep your floors clean. You can find your parts easier when you drop them. All right, clean off my hand again. Pick this up. Drop that spring on there. And put our tip on. All right, that spring's engaging, pushing it to the back. Let's test our cap for fit. That clicks on there nicely. Put it on the post. Ooh, nice click on the post. Nice click on the top. That one is done. I was so nervous about how this one was going to turn out. When they requested the flame, I had no idea how I was going to do it. I was actually thinking about doing like a label casting and actually just printing out a flame and then just casting it clear. And then I remembered Zach Higgins does those graffiti blanks, and I said, you know what, let's give that a try. And I am so glad that I did, because that is amazing. I'm going to go get that shipped. Happy holidays, everybody. Signing out.